Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode. Today I'm working on a small project. I'm making a riser and sort of a box to hold my refrigerator. It's going to go above the diesel heater, which I just installed. I'll link the last episode where I put the diesel heater in. So that's going to reside below. I'm going to try to insulate around that area, but I want to make a riser so it goes above the wheel well and above the diesel heater and it'll be reside on that wall. So I want to hold that refrigerator in place there for my kitchen so that I can continue with my build. This video is sponsored by Renowned Cargo Trailers. I have to say this plywood is crazy expensive. This was like $72 for a sheet of half inch plywood. It's nice plywood, but still, that's just insane for the price that's uh, at least double i think what it would have been a couple of years ago over here i've cut a notch this is going to go over the wheel well and then i'm going to put two by fours in above here as a slider for the um for the fridge to go in there and then i'm going to have a removable piece of plywood below the fridge and above the heater which will act as insulation i'll put some actual uh, insulation on the bottom of that as well but uh, then it'll be able to be removable so that I can pull the fridge out and work on the heater should I need to do that. One of the tricks I learned in my last build is using a speed square to get straight cuts on smaller items and you can put your speed square like this on your board and then line up your saw where it needs to go and then when you cut it, it'll cut along this edge and it'll be a perfect straight cut, at least in theory. And I would say 99% of the time for any cut shorter, shorter than a foot, it's uh, perfect. Alright, this is looking good. This is the inside wall that'll be on the right hand side. So the refrigerator will come in this way and it'll glide along this track which will be the bottom edge and this is going to go over the wheel well of the trailer here and then the heater this is going to be a wall here i need to cut a hole here for a vent and then attach this and then i'll make some little legs here and here to support the uh, bottom of this track runner so that's the plan i think this will work out okay okay i have the right hand side just sort of temporarily just put in here this is more or less how it's going to go. You can see the wheel well back here in the corner, how I sort of went around the edge of that and the supports on the uh, left and right for this track. So this um, fridge should slide in on the right foot here and then the left hand side I'll have the same thing. So it'll slide here. Here will be underneath and sort of poke out here. This is the air intake and outtake will go there and then it'll split left and right. I'll put a vent here on this side to vent that way and a vent going through this wall here going that way. I'm not sure if this ever happens to you. I'm hoping I'm not just not an idiot and that this happens to other people but I've run into a roadblock. I have the basic side pieces done and the next step is to drill holes in the side so that I can put this little vent piece in for the two vents. So I'm going to put a vent on each of the two panels that I've put together. So I purchased a few weeks ago a four inch hole saw kit. has four inch, four and a quarter, and three from Harbor Freight. And this is the three inch that I want to use today. Last time I used it I used the four inch to drill the hole in the floor and this is the four inch. So it has this kind of connection on the back side which I thought I remembered how to put this on and take it off but it's stuck on here and I've been trying for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours off and on. I take a break, then I come back and look at it, try to figure it out, use different tools. Can't get this off. So I've got to get this center black part off so that I can mount it back on to the three incher to be able to drill my holes. So I'm stuck. So anyway, I'm going to table this maybe for today and come back and try again tomorrow. Well, it's about three or four days later. I have left Arizona. I'm now out in New Mexico. And I think I finally figured out a solution for getting the mandrel to release from the uh, holes cup thing, the hole saw cup. Anyway, uh, let me recap what's going on. 
Right here is my four inch and this black mandrel piece is stuck on the white cup. I can't get it off. I've tried, uh, um, I've tried all sorts of pliers and clamps and everything I can and putting screwdrivers and other things in here. I just can't get a good enough grip on this. You can see it's all chewed up now from me trying to get this off. What I've decided to do is take this black part here, which is a $10 part from Arbor Freight, and just buy a new one and leave this stuck on here. And then take the new $10 part and put it on my 3-inch cup so that I'm able to dr drill the 3-inch hole that I need. So, unfortunately, there is no Harbor Freight in Arizona near Payson where I was camped. So, I've decided to leave, start heading towards Colorado, and then stop in a Harbor Freight in New Mexico. Yesterday, I went to two Harbor Freights in New Mexico, and both of them did not have the black mandrel, but I came up with another solution, slightly more money. For $17, you can get one of these kits here. It comes with a plastic case, and you have a number of blades here, and it includes the black mandrel that I need um, and a new 3-inch blade. So uh, this was $17, so it's $7 more, but given I've looked at two Harbor Freights and can't find one I need, it would be a special order, which I wait for. $7 more, I get another kit, and I can just go with that. Over here are the sideboards for my refrigerator, and I've already drilled one of my two holes. This is a three inch hole, and the vent will go in here, and the tubing on the back side. So, this is one side. I need to drill another one over here. Here's my new three inch bit that I have, and the new mandrel. So now I just have to carry these boards which are sitting here on my ramp, my deck, which is the perfect workplace by the way. I just love having this and take these inside, make sure I have a good fit and then start installing them. Uh, a few more steps just to make sure everything's square and secure. And then probably tomorrow or the next day I'll move the refrigerator into the new um, riser box. I guess that's what I would call this. Well, it's been a couple of days. I was working on a couple other things and now I'm back to working on my refrigerator box again. Let me show you what I've done. Okay, you can see I put the front piece and the back piece in here and I've attached it so it's uh, nice in there. You can see the diesel heater down there underneath and then I've attached it over here on the left to the steel wall and then you can see I've added a shelf across the top here reinforced it across the front and across the back and then it's attached to the wall in the back there. I probably don't say this enough but I absolutely am impressed with the quality of other people camping around you. A lot of these people are retirees and so I met somebody a couple of days ago parked uh, relatively close to me when I was out for a walk and we got to ch talking each day just sort of chat as I go through there and became friends. Well, I asked him if he could help me move the fridge and get it set up in here so I wasn't trying to lift this thing by myself. So you can see it fits perfect in this uh, slot. Let me show you. All right, you can see it's on the riser here and it fits with, oh, probably less than a half an inch on that side, about a half an inch on this side. I'm gonna add one more shelf on top here, but I sort of wanted to get it in there and measure it and then I'll just go in from the side and screw it in this way once the shelf's in place, but wanted to get it in here. I uh, drilled a hole here for the power plug to come out the side, and I'm going to secure it down on the bottom and maybe up at the top so that it doesn't fall out of this thing here. I also need to reverse the doors. Right now the doors are going this direction, and I want them to open the other direction into the kitchen, which is going to be off to the right-hand side. Anyway, fridge is in place and looking good. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Savor the moment and I'll see you in a future episode.